So you can barely see that. So we're going to make this not 888. We're going to make it 33, which is a darker gray. So it makes it more sense. And inside our nav, we're going to do text align right. And it totally just lines up on the right side. Or you could just say float right. So instead of floating left, we're going to float right. And that gives you the same thing. <clears throat> and our header, we're going to give it uh, just 50 pixels height instead of 100. And we're going to give some margin top pixels. And we're going to do the same thing to our margin h1. So we're going to give pixels, 10 pixels on the top, 0 pixels on the right. 0 pixels on the bottom, and 0 pixels on the left. That's how margin works. So our margins on the right, the right of the home, each LI in here is going to get... Uh, what do I do? Okay. H1's worked. But we want to... Give it some left margin there because it's it's really close to. Oh, I, d I didn't close my parentheses, so we'll say ten pixels or ten pixels semicolon. And instead of all the li's, we'll put margin on the whole nav, so this whole nav will shift down. And we'll give that margin right. So this is zero is the top. We'll give 20 pixels to the right, zero bottom, zero left. And then now you guys have a cool nav here. Uh, my awesome site. Um, this is a cool picture. That is an H2. So inside of our text and links, we're going to say H2. And we're going to give it a font size of uh, 1.6 EMs. Awesome. And now we're going to target our content. Our content, uh, we're going to give it padding 10 pixels. And if you don't know what that does, we can use our firebug here and hover over our content. And that purple right there, that is the padding that's getting it all around the whole box, the whole content div box. It's getting pushed in 10 pixels. That's what padding does. So now that we have that, let's style. Um, let's style these links down here. So those links are inside of content. Uh, they're inside of gallery. So we could just say gallery. Uh, it's an ID, so we'll say gallery. And we'll say list style type, just like we said earlier. We'll give it none. And that will get rid of these dumb little uh, dots right beside it. Refresh page. Um. Oh, for some reason I have a class on that gallery. Uh, it's ID. Yeah, should work. Okay. So inside of the gallery, we're going to do the same thing like we do with our nav earlier. We're going to target the LIs inside of it. And we're going to do a display inline. Uh, you could also do float left. It basically gives you the same result. I like display inline better. 
it gives you less hassle in the long run, I think. And we'll give margin on the right of it, so we would say 10 pixels. So I get some breathing room between there. And we'll also give, we'll target inside this UL, we have an LI, inside of this LI, we have an A, inside of this A, we have an image. So UL, LI, A, image. So UL, LI, A, image. And we're going to say, Uh, we're going to give it a border. Uh, remember, three pixel border, solid. This is the shortcut way of doing border property. And we're going to give it a color of blue. And we're going to type that same line of code over again for hover effect. So, right after image, all you're going to say is hover. And all the only thing we're going to change is the color. We're going to change the color to a gray. And hurry up and refresh page. There you go. So now these have a hover on them. Let's give a uh, 15 pixels right there to make it go over more. Say 20. There we go. So this is a cool picture. Uh, we'll get some breathing room between this big picture and these little pictures down here. So on our UL, we'll give it margin. We'll pin 10 pixels pop top. Give us a little breathing room there. And even on that H2 that we have down here, we'll give it some uh, margin 10 pixels bottom. And there'll get some breathing room between here. Cool beans. And now, last, we have to style this footer. So to style our footer, we're going to say footer. And we're going to say, we want the paragraph tag that is inside of that footer. And we want to give that paragraph tag a font size of 1.4 ems. And let's style our paragraph down, tags down here for good practice. Uh, we'll give them a color of some gray and a font size by default of 1.5 ems. So if you had more other paragraph tags, they would all get that. But this unique paragraph tag, we want all the paragraphs tags just in the footer, and we want a different font size. And let's do a text align, uh, text align center. Uh, doing that, you should get it right in the center of the page. Refresh browser, come on. Computer's going slow. And we'll also give our footer a background color. So footer background color of uh, 999. It's just a darker gray. And we'll give it some padding in between there. 10 pixels, top and bottom. That's just like saying padding 10 pixels top, 0 right, 10 pixels bottom, zero. So top, right, bottom, left. Uh, this is the shortcut way of doing it. Uh, 10 pixels top and bottom, zero left, right. So that's a shortcut. Cool. Awesome. Um, 